Well, hey folks, Real Lonsky with Jar Midlands, my review of New Japan Pro Wrestling's Best of the Super Juniors Day 3 event. I was hoping to have this review up way earlier, but they didn't put this up until 8 p.m. my time, so I just got done with this a bit ago. Which which was fine. I'm I'm not going to complain. There's still it, it's nice that they're even putting these things you know in the on demand section and not just saying well hey if you weren't there you missed it. Um, that that was it is really nice. And they only include the best of Super Junior matches. The undercard, which was Shota Umino and Taguchi versus Dragon Lee and Yuya Umura. Uh, I you know they didn't have that. They didn't have Oka and Chris Sabin versus Yoshihashi and Sho or Hanari and Kushida versus Chase Owens and Marty Skrull. Hiromu and Evil versus Minoru Suzuki and El Desperado. Those four matches I listed, the, main, the live crowd got to see, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that, that's great for them. And first world problems, you know, oh, we can't see everything. New Japan still providing some great content for the various fans, you know, American fans and anybody out, anybody that wasn't able to see it live. It's really, really cool. I really appreciate um, how dedicated New Japan is to providing great stuff for the fans. <clears throat> and it was, it was a fixed camera. It was just right on the ring. There were a couple times where they had ring, you know, work outside, especially uh, when Kanemaru was using chairs. But it reminded me of like an old Ring of Honor DVD that I had where it's just straight on the ring. And um, not the best acoustics. You couldn't really hear at all what the announcer, the ring announcer was saying. You could sort of hear the music. Um, but it was more about just the wrestling. And you get four, of the, uh, four you know, matches with eight great super junior talents so here we go it's probably gonna be a short review by the way after almost a two-minute intro so yo versus tiger mask a block good match good match it got better as it went along um i was prepared to just give it a decent you know rating you know just my personal rating but it it, it was good by the end because you had good groundwork and arm work by tiger mask and he was just wrenching on the arm wrenching on the arm and it was it was good stuff it wasn't like minoru suzuki wrenching on the arm because, as we all know, New Patriot 77 will know this. The Murder Grandpa just loves limbs, especially knees. I think knees are his favorite snacks besides soles. Um, and I'm not talking what's on a shoe. But Tiger Mask working on the arm of Yo, and it was really cool. Uh, because, you know, grounding the, grounding the, you know, the younger but lighter guy, especially the guy that's even better at Ariel than Tiger Mask is, and I'm not talking, you know, Little Mermaid Ariel. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <clears throat> Yo was over, had a good showing, had a great dive. Crowd got into it as it went along, and that was really, really nice. I really did enjoy that. Uh, Tiger Suplex for the win. One, two, three. Nice show of respect at the end. Um, as Tiger Mask wanted, you know, Yo to get up. Like, get up, get up, get up, and... They had, they had a show of respect, and that was really nice. Tiger Mask put him over, like, hey, he gave a really good effort. Crowd responded appropriately. Tiger Mask also has a great, great theme. Just, just find it on YouTube. It's a great theme. It's ridiculous, but it reminds me of Speed Racer for some reason. And Speed Racer was ridiculous, especially the Wachowski brothers, siblings, whatever they are now. I, I, are, they, are they both women? Seriously, like, can somebody, you know, clarify that? I know one of them is, but <clears throat> the whole point is that the Wachowski siblings directed Speed Racer, and I, I sort of enjoyed the visual um, craziness that it was, even if the movie made no sense. Moving on and going back to the whole thing of New Japan. Yeah, Tiger Mask wins. Decent match. De decent to good. And th this this match is just okay, this next one. Flip Gordon versus Kanemaru. Um, it was short. I mean, the audio, the, the video clip... Less than 14 minutes, and that's if and that's if you watch everything. If you, for any reason, just skip past the entrances and cut it right after, you know, the, the pinfall, it's about seven minutes. I mean, and <clears throat> Flip, you know, hit some good dives, flip-flop dive. Kanemaru had some great groundwork, as is tradition, and Kanemaru's a really underrated worker, and him and El Desperado are a great team. Great dynamic, you know, Kanemaru being the vicious heel likes to waste alcohol by spitting in people's faces. And Desperado just having a really cool look. Almost, I want to say almost Pentagon Jr.-like, but I don't know who did the look first. So I don't really want to accuse anybody, you know, one or the other of, you know, copying the other's look. And in fact, it kind of reminds me more, it would remind me more of La Parca if either one wore, <coughs> you know, more of a skull mask and everything. But still... Both have a cool look. So, Flip ends up winning after hitting variation of a, four, of a 450. Okay, cool. Not a match you necessarily need to go out of your way to see. Not a bad match. 
Not a great match, but just a match that exists. <coughs> and then, and forgive me, my voice is starting to give out, so I'm going to wrap this up soon. Bushi versus Ishimori. I had to try really hard to even get close to pronouncing that right, and I don't know why, but sometimes I screw up some names. This was good. Bushi had a great entrance, great attire as a tradition. He's also really good in the ring. It was a great clash of styles. Ishimori uh, used a sleeper hold for a while. But, you know, I mean, as being, as being the guy that's a little more muscle-bound and everything, and also a little older, I mean, I'm not saying... I'm not saying he's, you know, got one foot got one foot in the grave or one foot in retirement. But <clears throat> 35, he's been at this for a while. Bushi is super, super quick, hitting some great moves. Um, good exchange, especially chops, like them chops, though. Just chops, chops. They were just forearming and chopping each other. And it was great stuff. It was really, really cool. <clears throat> and then you had a bloody cross for the win. And that was that was really nice. That was that was really, really nice. Great bloody cross, you know, the bone soldier. Bone saw is ready. Um, terrible Randy Savage impression, especially on the anniversary of his death. I really should have tried to do better than that. Um, but yeah, bloody cross for the win. So Ishimori wins. Duh. <clears throat> there was no doubt he was going to win. No doubt he's probably going to make a clean. He might take one loss in this whole thing. Maybe. But I don't think there's any doubt he's going to win the whole damn thing at the end. In fact, I'd be surprised if he didn't sweep the whole damn thing, which he should, even if he doesn't beat Will Ospreay in the end. So, speaking of Will Ospreay, so this this was this was a good match. Um, <coughs> Ishimori and Bushi put on a good showing, decent length. I think it was about twelve. I think it was about thirteen, fourteen minutes. Then we had Osprey versus ACH, and yes, this is the kind of action I like. I actually recently ordered, very, very recently ordered an ACH shirt and a Taylor Hendricks shirt, which should be here, which be here hopefully within the next, I don't know, couple weeks. So yeah, I'll be wearing those for some reviews. But anyway, um, ACH, the Fuck Racism Watch Wrestling shirt, I had to get it. I almost ordered three and then realized, man, eh, need to, let me just, you know, order one for now. So anyway, good exchanges, pure aerial art. I mean, these guys are just great. And um, ACH is one kind of like Apollo Crews, you on Nation um, <coughs> on the Indies, and well now just Apollo since they're taking every since they're taking every last name in WWE. But ACH is like one you see him and you don't you wouldn't think he could move like that because of how muscle bound the guy is. And I mean that's not knocking, but you look like okay, you know he's more groundwork. No, ACH can fly and he's damn good and he's damn agile. And him and Osprey cut a really good pace. Osprey a little more heelish, focusing on the shoulder of, uh, of ACH, doing a doing a really really good job. ACH uh, attacking the neck of Osprey. So some good body part targeting in this. Some <clears throat> really good stuff. Really good exchanges. This would be the match if you if you don't see any of the matches that they did, if you don't see or you know any of the other matches that were done for this block. On this particular show, watch this match. Watch Osprey versus ACH. That's really, really good. They, I don't think there was any doubt Osprey was going to win, especially after he lost to Ishimori. Um, but still, you know, ACH had a great, great showing. Um, there was there was some really good outside work early on in the match where Osprey was focusing on ACH's shoulder, and that, and that was good. That was that was good stuff. And again, a little more heelish stuff from Osprey. A little desperate maybe to prove that. He that he doesn't want to just coast on being the champion. He wants to win this damn thing, and he's already down. You know he was he was already down like a loss, so he had no points going into this. <clears throat> so, bit of a rough landing on a dive. Like he had Osprey do a dive, and I think ACH was supposed to maybe catch him for a move or something. I don't know if it was a botch or maybe it was just an awkward exchange. But um, I mean, you know, Osprey landed, but it almost like he had to cradle ACH so he didn't hurt him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I maybe I was just reading too much into it. But it looked like a bit of a botch. It looked like a bit of a botch. But hopefully, both men are okay. Um, you know, and of course there was you know there was just more chops, more great chops and stuff like that. It was it was really good. Chop heavy, chop heavy edition of this show and everything. So that was really really good stuff. So yeah, and then you had a stormbreaker for the win, and. Osprey and ACH have a show of respect at the end. Osprey cuts promo. No idea what he said. Because I think he was speaking mainly Japanese, but also the acoustics were bad. So anyway, 
I want to thank you guys for watching this review. So I'll say, I'll say C plus overall. I mean, because, really, besides Osprey ACH, if you don't watch anything else in this, you're not missing anything. But yeah, go out of your way to at least give it a shot because it's maybe an hour, hour and fifteen minutes of your time. And again, if you really just want to watch these in chunks, do that or just watch the Osprey ACH match and enjoy it. Because it is really good wrestling. So anyway, agree, disagree with what I said. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Twitter link in the description. It's been Real Honesty with John Ritland. My New Japan review. I will be seeing you hopefully soon. Hopefully with a better outro than that.